you should only master one cat software and that depends on your needs. And I'm going to narrow it down for you. So by the end of this video, you'll know which one to pick with confidence. I'm gonna help you narrow down your options. And if you stay to the end of this video, I will give you my personal recommendation if you fit through the category that I'm gonna throw at you. Yes, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions. I want you to answer that. And based on that, we're gonna pick the right cat or at least narrow it down for you. First thing first, a software like Blender is not considered cat by definition, but since I know a lot of you didn't know that when you click on this video and you were considering softwares like Maya or 3DX Max as cat, I'm gonna mix everything and put it under cat. Let's just have that out of the way. And I'm gonna give you three categories. And on this section, we have engineering. I will expand each category in a bit. Engineering and manufacturing. Over here, we have uh, organic design and surface modeling. And we have here interior design and architecture. And before I go to the details of each of these categories, a lot of you might have come here for 3D printing. Let me just get this out of the way. Regardless of which of these categories you're gonna fit into, which industry you are in, you you can still 3D print your model, okay? 3D printers only require STL format and almost every cat out there can generate STL. So this is not a category, okay? Focus on the industry you're in. Engineering, organic design, and architecture. Engineering, what do I mean by that? If you want your components to be accurate, if you want it to be fabricated, manufactured, fit together, the dimensions and tolerances are important, surface finish is important for you, these are under engineering. Organic design and surface modeling if you are in the gaming industry if you want to create a character if you want to design a car something that has an organic geometry like a skull of a human being like a bone this is the industry you want to look at keep that in mind interior design and architecture it just goes without saying what that is okay no one and i mean no one is an expert in all these three categories usually people are expert in one or one or two i am expert by category in engineering and not the other two so i'm gonna brush past these two that is organic design and architecture much faster get it out of the way and send you on your way to do your own due diligence on other videos unfortunately i'm not an expert i don't want to just name drop a bunch of cat out there oh there's blender there is this and that that doesn't do you any good but uh, before i send you away there are software that can cover both like blender i know blender is a god tier or 3ds max and there are software that are specifically for one for example if you're an architect if you want to design a building or an interior design. These are the CAD that you should be looking into. And since I am not experienced with them, I don't want to comment on any of them, okay? But just keep that in mind. This is as narrow as I can make it for you right now. Unfortunately, if this is you and if you have to leave this video at this point, I wish you Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Similarly, for the other people who want to do organic design, like character, or you want to do artsy stuff, Blender, Maya, 3ds Max, and a lot more, you're going to look in this direction, okay? You guys stick with me for a second because I have something that used to belong to the engineering category and now it has expanded into this and I know a little bit more about that one that can help you. They happen to be the sponsor of this video as well. You know I'm a SolidWorks guy but I'm not talking about SolidWorks per se. It's SolidWorks Cloud Offer which runs on the browser. It has all the features that an engineering CAD must have like dimensions, accuracy, tolerancing and everything. Also it offers you the sculptor tool something that works with polygons like Blender that you can form and drag into whatever shape that you want and create organic geometries as well but organic geometries that can be manufactured that are accurate and reliable and are based on dimensions new solutions like this are a bridge between these two categories so the solidworks cloud offer combines proven design and collaboration tools that allow all your stakeholders to work together from anywhere on any device using browsers you don't have any costly it overhead because it's cloud-based and you can scale easily as your company grows. The SOLIDWORKS Cloud Offer also includes designing, collaborating, and reviewing from anywhere between teams. It is a single modeling environment for parts and assemblies, and it allows you to focus on your design so there is no need to worry about organizing your files. Because when you actually get a job in a company, your job will not be limited to only working with the cat. The documentation is a huge part of your work, whether you want it or not. You're going to have to keep your file organized. And a cloud-based cat like Cloud Offer from SOLIDWORKS 
color works does that for you automated and it cannot go wrong that's a very huge plus point on that also there are some new and intuitive features compared to solidworks desktop version which allow you to change design intent without the rework that's required with the you know desktop version the parametric modeling you can always be connected to your members in your team and comment on each other's work ask for help get access to your content from different locations also it doesn't need any maintenance because the desktop version sometimes because it's on your local pc if it gets stuck it gets stuck you're gonna have to call the support to help you but this one runs on the 3d experience platform and it doesn't need any backup or maintenance everything is there it doesn't get stuck and if it does before you get to know it they have solved it already this is a huge advantage if you want to work with a cat and also organic design on the cloud server which is new okay so yeah they are the sponsor of this video by the way solidworks cloud offer i'm gonna put the link to that in my description below it's actually solidworks.com forward slash cloud and if you want to go to engineering these two you guys engineering and organic design you're still with me next question that i'm gonna throw at you is that desktop or cloud-based so there are two different categories of cat right now the ones that you pay one time up front and you get it permanently and you install it on your pc it's called a desktop version something like solidworks and it has its own pros and cons which i will get into in a second and there is this new version that has been around for a couple of years now cloud-based which you pay on a monthly basis usually there is no big upfront fee like the desktop version you run it on your browser advantages and disadvantages the cloud-based is cheaper to start if you're a small company small business is great for teamwork when you want to share your file among your team or if you travel a lot if you don't want to be dependent on one local computer where every team member has to log into and work with that okay everybody can access that from wherever they are as long as they have internet connection the disadvantage of that is sometimes it's a little bit laggy it's dependent on internet if your internet is not good or the part becomes too heavy and your computer cache is not supportive so it can become a little bit slow but if you are for example a head of a department or you're a shop owner and you have people two three four five or more working under you you might want to consider that look into softwares like onshape fusion 360 that are cloud-based give it a go the advantage of the desktop version is that you only pay one time you get all the features unlocked it doesn't get laggy it's there it's reliable okay whether the internet is there or not whether your browser gets too heavy it's just there it works but there are so many buts okay i could talk about this for hours but nobody would want to hear me talk for hours that's why i'm trying to pack as much as information as i can in this short time hopefully by now you have decided whether you belong to the engineering category or organic design and surface modeling okay keep these two in mind and after that i asked you whether you want to go for cloud or you want to go for the desktop version so keep that in mind too we are narrowing it down and at the end i will give you a couple of options that remain the third question i want to throw at you is that whether you work more with 2d or 3d don't underestimate 2d i have been working in the hard valve industry and implant stents for a long time a good portion of my day was spent with 2d i had to design a lot of entities for the laser path and 2d was the cat we needed while software like solidworks inventor fusion 360 are really good with 3d when it comes to 2d they slow down and they fail you they don't have the right tools to handle what you want to do 2d perfectly what comes to mind autocad perfect for 2d i want to stay away from it when it comes to 3d i mean it's good but there are better options with better interface and easier process and faster so for 2D, I would go to AutoCAD and for 3D, I would go away from it. The next question. I want to ask you is the price how much you want to spend free a software like FreeCAD, medium range like solidworks or inventor around 8 to 10k and high tiers like katia 100k you might ask me Aryan, why would i want to consider something so expensive when there is a free stuff well obviously the more you pay the more you get depending on the industry and the business you're in you have some minimum expectation you should have minimum expectations from the software you buy so free cat is good for a lot of stuff for many of you it might be satisfactory so you don't need to pay anything but usually free stuff are for non-commercial use i'm not sure about free cat check it out make sure you can use it commercially as long as it does what you need it to do then it's fine go for it medium range like inventor solidworks autocad it, these are desktop versions and on shape fusion 360 cloud-based these are where you want to be the user base for these mid-range software is much bigger than software like katia nx or creo which are high tier there are smaller targeted niche groups 
groups working with them, companies like Boeing. Yes, you would be specialized. Yes, if a company wants a person that is expert in Katia, your chances are higher because your competition is lower. But on the other hand, when you get stuck or you're looking for a solution on the internet, the number of people talking about that problem is also less. But when you come to the mid-range where SolidWorks and AutoCAD are, the user base are bigger. More and more companies are switching to SolidWorks, for example. Your chances of getting hired is bigger. This is where I recommend, okay? Because this mid-range does everything you want it to do. Unless you have some specialized use like CAM or hard simulation, manufacturing simulations. Yes, you could just move toward the high tier. But for now, stick with me with the software. Lastly, I wanted to talk about the price of each of these software, but I realized this video will stay here for a long time on YouTube and the prices are changing all the time. So it will not be valid anymore. I highly suggest you to go to their website, check for their price. For the local software like SolidWorks or Inventor AutoCAD, I told you six to 10K depending on the license you wanna get, just a range. And for the cloud one, usually it's around 1500 per user per year, depending on the license, it could go higher. It could get more expensive on cloud depending on the number of users you want to get for example on shape professional is twenty five hundred dollars per user per year and if you're like 10 you're paying 25k per year while for SolarWorks, if you get three licenses you pay 30k but it's permanent almost 25k for one year 30k forever you have to do your math on that depending on the size of your department or team if you are still watching to this point i really thank you for watching my video so so let me throw in one bonus for those of you who are still here. If you want to go for SolidWorks desktop version, which is still one of the greatest, my, my true sincere opinion, cat out there because of its simplicity and capability and growing community, okay? So these three factors are very important. It's growing, it's simple, and it's very capable. I have the best course for it, and I say it again. Let me say it again. I have the best SolidWorks course for beginners period. And I'm going to put the link to that on the top right corner, as well as on the description below this video. It has a 4.9 rating out of five. I'm going to put the link to my rating as well. You could just go read it. You will love this course if you're serious about learning SolidWorks. Do not waste any more time looking elsewhere. You will save thousands of hours if you just get my course, which is not free, and follow my advice, okay? Because I have put 15 years of passion into 20-hour course. And right now, because it's December around Christmas there might be some discount on the checkout when you go there hurry if you want to get it right now cheaper lastly I wanted to thank you wish you all a Merry Christmas and happy holidays I will be around next year stronger with better content I always try to only make videos when I have something to add when I can give value I don't want to just sit here and just talk random if this is something you're interested in I highly suggest you click that subscribe button and add my channel to the list of your subscribed channels because because if you want to grow your skills in CAD, in 3D, especially in CAD, because the future depends on it. Again, my opinion, but I strongly believe that the future depends on 3D printing and 3D modeling. If you don't want to fall behind from that, I'm a good source. Subscribe and I'll see you around.